uh, great search. Every single week, Lady Ada uses her powers of engineering to help you find the things you're looking for on uh, digikey.com. Lady Ada, what is this week's great search? Okay, so this week, sorry, I was just putting all my all my debugging tools away. Um, this week's great search is a request by a customer. Hold on, actually, let me get the let me get the right. Oh my God, we have so many products. Okay. So um, this is a request by a customer, somebody who had a bunch of LED matrices, and they said, hey, um, on the back of the matrix is this uh, power connector, and uh, you have these connectors that you sell, but I want to um, get that connector itself, and uh, do you know the part number? And it's like, you know, I've, I've, we, somebody even made the joke, they're like, they're always called Molex connectors, um, but these are... Uh, 0.2 inch spacing uh, connectors, and they've got this kind of funky latch. Let me see if I can. We also sell the individual cable, so I'll show you what the latch looks like. So the question is, like, how do you um, find that matching cable power cable power cable? One moment. Here it is. Um, this particular latching, you know, arrangement, how do you, how do you find the exact connector when it's just like, you know, you, whenever you buy the matrix, you always get the connector with it. And so I thought, well, let's try to figure out how, how to find a similar connector. I think this one, I, you know, I posted in the forum and I answered them. Um, but let's, let's try to figure out how to get this connector. So having measured it, it's, um, I know it's 0.2 inch spacing. So this is called, you know, like a rectangular connector. Rectangular connector. And, you know, they're always called Molex connectors, but they're not actually, they're not necessarily made by Molex. Um, oh, let me turn on the beta, because that way you can see images. So rectangular connectors, um, the closest one is going to be like this, although this is free hanging in panel mount, but I think I went to this one. Yeah. So this, actually, sorry, I want the, I think I want the free hanging in panel mount. Let me see these images. Yeah, I think this one's closer. Okay, let's try this one. If it doesn't, we'll, we'll do the other one. So um, this connector, this connector is four pins, one row. So let's do one row, four pins. And let's apply and let's see what we get. Okay, cool. Yeah, now we're getting. Actually, I don't know if this is it's this category or the other. Oh, this one's getting kind of close. Okay, so um, let's also look for active because we only want to find stuff that's around, and we want uh, free hanging and inline because we want it to be. It's like this loose cable. Is that what I said? You know, now I'm not, I'm not so sure. I think actually I do want to be in the other category. Yeah, I think I do. I'm sorry, it's not freaking hanging because it connects, it's not freaking hanging because it connects back to the, um, to the PCB. So I actually do want rectangular connectors. Sorry, pretend I didn't do that. Um, that's what it's like searching. Okay, try again. Number of rows, one. Number of connectors for active, and then apply. Okay, yeah. Now we were now we're, like we're getting closer. So it's actually, this is not too not too far away. So the next question is, I wanted that little like hook latch thing, like this, because this is a very unique um, element. And so this was called a latch holder or a latch lock. It seems like there's both kinds. So I want to add that on. Actually, let me do the, the pitch next. So I think this was 508.2 uh, inch. You can, of course, measure with your um, calipers. And yeah, so we had a couple of good options here. So then Again, I wanted to get something that was latch lock or latch holder. So let's look at latch lock and latch holder. Locking ramp is a little different. Locking ramp, there isn't a little uh, piece that you 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 don't um, 
you press it down to release, like, and it and it bends out rather than lifts up. And then, let me see what else. There's receptacle versus not free hanging. And then let's look. Okay, so then this actually wasn't uh, too bad. Now this is actually where I started looking at the photos. Um, so this is not. This has a, like I think this is like a friction lock. This one is, seems really similar. This one does not. This one does not. So I actually just kind of went through and I looked at them all because there's only like 20. Like this was actually kind of a cool connector, but also the wrong kind. And in the end. This is actually really close. Now remember, this is just the connector, not the cable. So when I looked at this, I was like, okay, it's got like the little like little leggies and the latch, leggies and the latch, and and then this is like nice and rectangular and slim, look good. And you'll need the crimp connectors as well. So this is in stock. So I would probably pick this up. Now I did tell the person, we sell the cable. You're better off taking a cable and cutting and splicing it. But if you do want it, you can get um, also the matching uh, connectors they have here. And then in the data sheet, they'll often, oh, they do not tell you. You can take more measurements, but they'll sometimes tell you the contacts. Economy power seems likely. Under economy power, go to contacts, then you'll see the matching, like it's part of the same series of connectors. Um, so you'll see the crimps here for socket 10, 22 to 26 gauge, and then 18 to 22 gauge. So that makes sense. I think like, you know, if I was going to be um, making these RG matrices and I, I want an economic power connector, I use the TE economy power. And then don't forget also, um, you know, they're expensive, but if you're making a lot of these cables, get the crimper. If you're not getting the official crimper, at least get a standard crimper. Do not use pliers to crimp. Um, but other than that, this I think is the best bet. So I think this is the connector. I'm actually gonna try to contact the factory that makes these RGB matrices and ask them because like maybe they do have, the problem is oftentimes the connector that they're using is like a knockoff part number that has some basis in, in an American or European company but it's like three generations down. Um, you know, I've seen this with JST-SM connectors, like what you're getting often, it says JST-SM, but they're not truly JST connectors. They're like clones of clones of clones of clones. So, but I think this is the closest one to match. So um, I let them know and they're gonna try it out. I'm also gonna maybe order one of these and just make, you know, see if I can press fit it on, see if it uh, fits onto the connector and the little latch thing um, clicks into place. And that's a great search.